So I get a lot of questions about FKS, people asking my lineup and things like that and how to do the skip. Uh, a lot of people seem to struggle with it. So that's what this video is for. I'm going to link it to people in chat whenever they ask just to make it easier. Uh, so let's talk about the actual skip. Uh, shift is bound to sprint spacebar is bound to jump q is my camera lock on slash reset which i do use and we're going to talk about the easier version of the skip and then i'll briefly touch on the i guess speedy version that uh, i would not recommend doing so anyways let's talk about it so first thing to note is uh, the lineup is not precise you do not have to be precise with the lineup you have to be precise with your keyboard inputs so when you actually do the keyboard inputs a lot of people do something like well i can't even fuck it up properly something like this or they'll do like that and the biggest reason for that is there's two of them, actually. One is that there should be this natural roll from W to A. Uh, you should never just, like, quickly, suddenly, like, go from A to, like, W to A. So one way to practice this is to basically just run for this edge and then last second turn and jump. If you notice you're doing something like this, I can't even fuck it up. Yeah, I can't even fuck it up, but you'll, you'll notice what I'm talking about. Um... You want to have this natural roll from W to A. The second thing is uh, you want to run left for just like a brief second. So it should be something like that, right? So you can pay attention to the timings. This is something timing I can't exactly showcase in a video. This is something you're just going to have to learn. And I also forget if I mentioned, but I use the save tool or the practice tool rather. So I can press F7 to save position, F1 to load it, F8 to enable and disable uh, death cam. So that way after I do the skip, if I want to try it again, I just press F8 and I'm able to try the skip again. Uh, so... Again, with all that in mind, let's actually break this down more. So the general lineup is that I walk into the wall behind these two leaves, this white leaf and the green leaf, the ones that I am standing on now. So I just walk into the wall behind them. So I do my quit out right here. I then press S to turn around, Q to flip my camera. I put my health bar on this leaf such as this. If you don't have a numbered health bar, you can also use your stamina bar and just put it to the left of that rock right there. So like right here. Um, and then we're gonna do the skip. Now, the timing for the skip is what most people will struggle with. You might do something like that. You might do something like that. Uh, and this is, again, one of those things that I can't teach you. This is something you're just going to have to practice. This is something you just have to get the hang of and uh, work on. But this is where not having that... Th there's a really smooth motion to all of it. When you do the skip, you don't want to be super like jerky and sudden. You should have this natural rhythm that you follow. And this will make the skip much more consistent for you. So again, health bar goes in the middle of that leaf. And you do the skip. So as you can notice, I'm not taking all the time in the world to line up the skip. Because the lineup isn't important. Uh, I wish I could go more in depth, but I just, I can't. There's nothing else I can tell you besides the, show you the inputs, talk about the lineup, and talk about troubleshooting. So the troubleshooting is, of course, if you're not getting the jump, make sure you have that smooth roll. Uh, from W to A, such as this. Uh, if you're noticing that you kind of get stuck running into the wall, uh, I'll try to replicate that real quick and also not die. So if you notice you're doing something like this, uh, you're not jumping soon enough. You have to jump earlier. Um, yeah, you're just going to have to troubleshoot, watch inputs, practice the inputs on, like I said, running for this edge right here and trying to last second turn and jump. Uh, just almost for that fright factor so you know what it's like in the actual run. And I'm going to talk about a, a quicker lineup that I said I was going to talk, touch on. Um, I do not recommend doing this. I rarely even do it. But I'm going to throw this out here in case you find this easier as a lineup. So anyways, same general lineup. But when I turn around... Uh, sorry, I need actual momentum to do it. When you turn around, this should be an acceptable lineup. What I look for is to make sure my head is to the right of that little gap. So something like this. And then I would just go on and do the skip like normal. Um, like I said, this isn't super reliable or consistent. So I would not recommend doing this. But you will see me do this occasionally in runs. When I'm like behind, I'll do something like this. Um, but there's really no reason to do this. That right there worked. Uh, because it doesn't take much longer to do... Like actually line it up. But I'm just throwing that out there because I'm sure somebody might find it easier to actually take the time to line their head up like this. And might find it easier to actually time the jump. So I think that's pretty much everything I need to touch on. If you have any questions, by all means, throw them my way. Uh, again, don't focus on the lineup that much. The lineup is not the important part. It is all about timing, okay? You don't even really need to line this skip up. I know Natty, for instance, uh, uses like peripherals for instance, uh, for some reason. Like he uses his uh, the edge of his camera to line it up. 
Don't focus on the lineup. Focus on timing. Okay? Thank you.